Welcome to Tokyo Saurus. So what's up in Japan? So just a few days ago, the PlayStation blog posted a special thank you note from Alice's game director of Persona 5, Katsura Hashino, who is also responsible for creating Persona 4, Persona 3, and Catherine. This letter mentioned a lot of interesting points about Persona 5 itself, while also confirming that starting last year with Persona's 20th anniversary, he handed off the development of future Persona titles to his successors, and has started his own new RPG project known as ReFantasy. The studio that was responsible for Persona is called Studio P, and the one responsible for ReFantasy is called Studio Zero. Hashino has definitely moved to the new studio and is focusing all his efforts on creating this new IP. It seems like the creator for the more recent Persona series feels like he's done all he could with the series, and is probably bored and wants to make something new. Now with his awesome track record, especially with Persona 5, his level is now elevated to one at Atlas where he is granted creative freedom to just make anything he wants. But back to the letter itself, he mentioned that he created Persona 5 with a very Japanese story to it, even adding some political aspects to it, so he wasn't very sure how the Western audience would respond to that. He thinks that traditional Japanese superhero stories are usually about fighting off invaders that come from outside their society, whereas Western superheroes are usually about fighting villains and misfits that come from within its own society, making the audience sometimes feel like, oh, this villain could have easily been me. He references the Joker from Batman and how Joker can also make some valid points that resonates with normal people at some levels. Persona 5 is a superhero story that fights villains that come from within its own society. So in a way, he realizes that while it has a lot of traditional Japanese elements to the story, there are also elements that are more familiar to the Western audience. Aside from sales numbers, he hasn't really received feedback from the Western audience about what they think of the gameplay and the story. But he does hope that the tale of Persona 5 will create a lasting impression on anyone who plays it. In his next project, he wants to create another RPG that is both moving and relatable regardless of cultural differences. So that's pretty much it to the letter. You can check it out in a link in the description below. With what we have so far, we know that the next project is going to be an RPG for Hashino, but they are still in early development stages, and they haven't even determined the platform they are going to make the game for. So I think it's safe to say that we'll most likely be seeing Persona 6 before Hashino's new RPG. A trailer has been released for Project Re Fantasy titled A Fool's Journey Begins, but it doesn't really show anything except for lots of grass, trees, and some river. No gameplay, no characters, and no artwork. P Studio, on the other hand, will continue to work at its full strength to create new entries to the Persona series, and after seeing the international success Persona 5 was, you can bet Atlas is pouring in the money to make sure the next Persona title ships on time. Anyways, what do you think of Hashino's thank you letter? As usual, let us know in the comments below. Thumbs up the video if you liked it, and don't forget to follow Tokyo Source on social media for Japanese culture tweets and video updates. And subscribe to Tokyo Source if you haven't already for the latest things people are talking about in Japan. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.